Good at YouTube, Joby from Oz here. As some of you might know, I've been doing a little bit of work on repairing a laptop that uh, wasn't working, and I was going through diagnosing it and trying to figure out where the problem was. Um, in order to do that, I found that my eyes just weren't working very well, so I've ended up purchasing this piece of equipment, which is a uh, HDMI HD video camera. So it's got an optical lens as well as a digital lens, uh, mounting and a um, light source and all that sort of stuff. Um, and so in order to be able to see the bits I'm working on, as you can see down here, that needle I'm holding is an acupuncture needle with a 0.3mm diameter shaft on it. And it's too small to see, but as you can see up in this view, that's the area that I'm currently trying to work on. And um, yeah, it's it's too small to see with the naked eye, or at least too small for my naked eyes to see. Um, and so, yeah, part of what I was doing was trying to find this problem with this board. And um, I was struggling a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, this is the actual component that is meant to be soldered into that location. I'm just trying to get a better light here. This flickering is just annoying the crap out of me. I think there's something quite wrong with the camera at the minute. But anyway, this is the component that I was trying to solder back on into that location on the board. And of course, my soldering iron is pretty big. I couldn't see, and uh, I was just jumping around all over the place. But um, yeah, so that's the challenge that I set myself, is how do I fix this bloody thing up? Um, now, how does this all relate to coat hangers? I... Um, Obviously I was trying to see things, and at this scale it was pretty hard. But I was trying to find a problem with this board, and you won't believe what I found when I started looking in deeper. And, and if you just see, I've got the camera zoomed in now. Let's just move the board up to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. And just over here, what I found was something really interesting on this board. And you just notice here as we come into view, there was this strange apparition I was seeing in the camera. I couldn't quite see what it was, but as I was focusing in and out, it seemed to be like a six-pointed or a four-pointed kind of object, but the focusing just didn't quite work for me. Uh, but anyway, I did persist a little bit with it, and let's get our little pointer here and see if we can't uh, come in a bit closer. You can never find tools when you're looking for them. Here we go, here's that same acupuncture needle, a 0.3 millimeter diameter needle. And I've managed to just put it onto its side. You see what it is there yet? A little bit tricky to see, let's see if I can get the focus a bit better. There you go, a little bit. Uh, there you go. Just a bit hard to manipulate at this scale. Uh, but you can see there, there's that four angled feature on the bottom there. And then if we uh, try and get a better view of that, see it's got that cross shape. And you can see on the other end, there's that six angled shape. Oh, there it goes. Where the fuck did that go? Uh, well, I managed to find it. It was a bit tricky, but here we go. Let's put that back into view. And uh, let's see if we can get you a good enough view of this. So, where were we up to? We're looking at the four sides there and the six sides at the top. Not sure if it's really the easiest way to show it to you, but um, that, my friends, is a coat hanger. You can hang your coat on it if you are that small. And we've produced this with the magic of the SL1 resin 3D printer. Uh, it's about 10 millimeters tall in total. The shaft of the coat hanger is probably 0.4 millimeters diameter. The feet, the four feet, they're probably about 0.6 in cross. And then the six arms at the top, probably again around the 0.3 to 0.4 diameter on that feature. So yeah, there you go. Capabilities of modern 3D printing. And here we are just taking the camera back a little bit to try and get a better view on this for you. Really is tricky to get a good shot of this. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out some of the other 
awesome videos in the Coat Hanger 2020. They put mine to shame. Thanks for organising it. Bye.